Bless, bless, bless family. I'm back again with another topic, guys. This this time is very educational, guys. Stay seated, man. And I don't think you would like this, guys, but stay down. So, this today, I've got to talk about the story of Otto Banger. If you don't know the story of Otto Banger, guys, stay seated. I'll explain this to you right now. So, Otto Banger was a... He was born in... Uh, saying that 1883 and died around uh, 1916. So Arthur Banger, the story, this this story, as you know what I mean, is literally, is a horror story. Do you know what I mean? So he's been, he was, he's been used in a human zoo exhibit uh, back in Louis, uh, Louisiana, uh, Louisiana and, and, and in America. So Arthur Banger, he was from the Congo area, uh, saying that he's from the Bambutu tribe. So the guy, he... Uh, some some of the slave traders goes by the name Samuel, yeah Samuel Phillips. He went over to the Congo and so he's basically an and then with the explorer. So they went over there. They want to find somebody. They want to find the missing link right between monkeys and humanity. Look at the racism. Look at the horrid racism that actually even scientist people are the most racist people in the planet Earth. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Especially scientists that base their theory and their idea, uh, idea ideas, yeah, uh, based on race. Do you know what I mean? So then Otto Banger has been sent, uh, they brought him from there and uh, took him to America, yeah, and they put him in a zoo, which they called a monkey house. They put him in a zoo and they actually, there was a show, they put him on display. People go there and watch him. Do you know what I mean? People go out there to watch Otto Banger and say, we want to find, oh, well, this is where we find the missing link. Imagine that. So then, uh, what it is, uh, the, 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 the thing is, people that who don't understand this family, they might going to say to you, oh, that story was a long time ago. This story is not even a long time ago. I think still today you have people who are still alive because it's about 100 years ago. Do you know what I mean? 100 years ago is not that long because... Still today, you find people that they are still alive, yeah? Whether it's, uh, you know, whatever colour you are, there are some people that are still alive. That's why they still still have that in their mind as, you know, you find that the missing link, the human race, are different, you know what I mean? And that's what that, that's what they say. Because if you, you have that lived memories, you'll have that lived memories. If you're old right now, very old, like 100 years old or 98 or something like that, you will understand and remember that. Clearly, you know the story of Otabanga in America. So Otabanga, they displayed him, displayed him, and made a lot of money out of, out of the people that they come to the monkey house to watch, to watch that. Imagine that, yeah. So that that is that's something that human human can do. You know what I mean? Can will that ever happen? But it did. You might you, you're never gonna imagine this this has happened before in history, but it did. It did happen, right? So now Atabanga, is, uh, the reason why they said Atabanga that they freed him up, but the reason why they freed him up is that there was a newspaper out in, out in the Louis, uh, Louisiana in America, right? And and that that newspaper start talking about him, you know what I mean? In the African slave trade, start talking about him. They said there's a guy in Louisiana and uh, being sold over this, this is and and being used on display, yeah. Been put on dis uh, been put on display in a human zoo, and that's what they've been using them. And then basically, when they brought attention to that, right, uh, Art Banger, uh, in Lit uh, Lynchburg, all right. So and then they freed him. But his, you know, the end of the story, yeah, his end of the story, it was horrid, horrid story, guys. You can never imagine that story, man. And then he said, uh, uh from the depression. Uh, and anxiety and everything like that from the, uh, you know, all that racism he's got in America, yeah, he killed himself, yeah, he committed suicide, right, so, alright, let me go, uh, let me go and show you right now the story, alright, you see guys, right now, that's Otto Banger, right, Otto Banger, they're saying that, that's his name, he's from the Bambuti tribe in the Congo, alright guys, is basically the breakdown is saying that he 
uh, March 20, the 20, 20th of March 1916, that's when he died. He died probably when he's 32 or 33, right? He didn't even live that long. You know, we know that they're saying that the, the Bambuti tribe, most of them, they live long in the Congo, they're about 100 years old or more than that, but he never lived that because he killed himself, right? Uh, remember, so this guy, early life, as a member of the Bambuti people, Bambuti people, Otabanga lived equatorial forest near uh, Kasai or Kasi, uh, Kasi River in what was uh, the river, you know, Congo Free States. His people were attacked by the, for, uh, the force public established by King Leopold II, uh, the second. King Leopold II, he's the one that created the, created the, the, the you know, the militia, do you know what I mean? And they, they attacked his people right as a military militia that attacks people and the native and then they start enslaving those people and then t they took Otabanga to america you know they took Otabanga from there do you know what i mean and then uh eventually he ended up in he ended up in these so those people normally do you know what i mean uh they live in that tropical climate and everything's like they're normally short people yeah they they short people uh if, as you can see guys and they have, they've had like a way of life as well. You know, the way of life that you see, you know, uh, ag agriculturalists, you know, farmers and things like that. So they took him to, to the Bronx Zoo. Bronx, the Bronx, yeah? Listen, they took him out there, do you know what I mean? The Bronx Zoo in 1906, William, uh, you get what I'm saying, guys? So William, director of the zoo initially, you know, enlisted Banger to help maintain the animals habitats coming you can't be doing that that's a lie that's a lie right now they use them as a human zoo so this is him right now Otabanga. yeah as you can see right now this is the guy for a long time has been used as you know it's been put on display and being used this is a horrible story guys horrid you know later life if you look at his later life guys and later life is saying that gordon placed banger in Howard Colored Orphan Asylum, a church sponsored in a church. They placed him in church, right? Okay. The Gordon su supervised as the unwelcome press attention continued in January 1910. All right. Arranged for Banger's reallocation to Lynchburg, Virginia. So he lived in Virginia and then at the time, and then basically, and uh, the story about his death as well, guys, in 1914. When the, well, uh, the, the first world war broke out, return to the Congo became impossible as a passenger ship traffic ended. Banger became depressed as his hopes for return uh, to his homeland faded. On 20th of March 16, at the age of 32 or 33, he built a ceremonial fire, chipped off the caps, well, chipped off the caps of his teeth and shut himself in the hut. Oh, you know what I mean? Uh, with with a borrowed pistol. So, come on, guys. Do you know what I mean? He killed himself with a borrowed pist pistol, yeah? He borrowed a gun and killed himself. He was buried in an unmarked grave in the black section of the old cemetery near his uh, benefactor, George Hayes. So, George Hayes, his benefactor, yeah? Uh, George Hayes, whatever. so this guy, George Hayes, guys, probably he cashed out all the money. From, uh, he cashed out all the money from this guy, from Otterbanger's, he profited, profited from Otterbanger's, uh, you know, miseries. And that's what they do all the time. That's mo uh, most people, you know what I mean, in slavery, profited more money and they made so much money over that. So Otterbanger's story, this is just one of, one of the horror the story, yeah? This is just one of them. There's many, many, many that has not been uh, recorded and there's a lot, a lot that's not been recorded. So guys, with that being said, I was just going to, you know what I mean, I, I thought I would bring you this story of Otabanga, do you know what I mean? Uh, family, you got to be, you know, educated and re-educated as well. If you're educated, you think you're educated at schools, you're not educated at, well, at colleges or university, you're not. You have to re-educate yourself again the right way, all right? Make sure you educate yourself the right way, guys. Bless, bless, bless family. Stay blessed, family. Pay, you know, uh, respect your ancestors. Yeah, you need to respect that. If you don't do respect that, guys, you're missing something. Bless, bless, bless family. Stay blessed, family. Bye.